What's up, YouTube? Agent Zero here, and today I'm going to be showing a trials match where I got 18 kills and one death. So as you saw from that quick setup, I was doing my disco dance and the kinetic I have equipped, the one on the screen right there, is the Nameless Midnight. My energy weapon is Uriel's Gift, and my exotic power weapon is a, an exotic grenade launcher, the Colony. For my exotic piece of armor, I have the Foe Tracer equipped. So, for those of you who have been around since Destiny 2 dropped, You'll pretty much know that I am using the metal weapons. Nameless Midnight and Uriel's Gift have been amazing since Destiny 2 dropped, and they are still amazing. I'm glad they're still amazing, though. I definitely love using each of these guns, and the Colony, since it dropped, has been a very used gun in the Crucible. And we'll talk about the colony in a little bit, but first, let's talk about the Nameless Midnight. The Nameless Midnight is a legendary scout rifle which has explosive payload. The great thing about explosive payload is not just that your shots explode on impact, which means you can actually miss your target and still get some damage on them, but the fact in the Crucible is when you're hitting their target, their screen is kind of lighting up. So they know that they're being hit by explosive payload, but it can kind of throw enemies off when they're in a gun battle. So that's one of the great things about anything with explosive payload is you can kind of confuse your enemies when you're shooting at them with a gun that has explosive payload. The Uriel's Gift is a great auto rifle and it's claim the fame is high caliber rounds. This is a perk that can actually throw enemies off when you're shooting at them as well. Now, nothing comes up on the screen, but it can kind of throw them off as well with those high caliber rounds while you're shooting at them. That's why Uriel's has been able to stick around since the drop. Now, with the most recent patch in Destiny 2, 450 autos were slightly nerfed. The only thing that was nerfed to them is the range. So if you notice that you're not doing as much damage at further ranges that you used to, it's because the range on 450 autos were slightly nerfed. But both of these guns, especially combined with each other, are very good. The Nameless Midnight gets you that long range combat and the Uriel's gets you that closer range combat. And I always love having that setup with a longer range gun and a closer range gun. There are some people who I've actually were fa was facing in trials earlier today that I noticed had two auto rifles on, both with a 450 RPM or a 600 RPM. And I don't understand why some people do that. Maybe if they run out of rounds instead of reloading, they prefer to switch to another gun. But I would much rather reload, maybe even get a masterwork for reload speed if you're that worried about it. But I would rather have a longer range and a closer range gun in combat. Right there, you'll see, was my only death, but we were able to end that round, which was definitely awesome. My team did very well in this match. We all did very well. After three rounds, I am at 10 kills and one death. We have three more rounds to go, so that means I will get eight more kills in those three rounds. My team was very good. We definitely were able to work well as a team and win this match, and we did very well while going through this match. So now let's talk about the colony. The great thing about the colony is that you don't really have to aim the colony to get kills with it. It has those robotic grenades that chase after opponents. Now, if opponents know they're coming, they can start jumping up and maybe dodging some of those grenades, but it does make it harder for them to shoot at you and they have to dodge and try and run away and in destiny you actually lose accuracy when you're shooting while you're in the air except for the dawn blade so getting enemies to have to jump up in the air is going to put the advantage in your favor even if you aren't able to kill them with the colony you're making them go in the air so you can come into the room 
and shoot at them and they're going to have a loss of accuracy because they're in the air. So that's definitely one of the reasons why I love running the colony, especially in trials and with the new patch, power ammo drops more often. So the colony is definitely great to have and you're going to be able to get ammo for it a lot more often than not as long as you're paying attention to when that power ammo is coming back. The Foe Tracer, let's talk about the Foe Tracer exotic piece of armor. It is a staple for hunters that want to do well in the Crucible and especially in Trials. The Foe Tracer tags up your targets after you shoot at them. So as you see, my target ran away, he went behind cover, and I'm still able to track him. So I am able to finish him off. He thought he had the edge, he jumped up, he thought he was going to get the drop on me, but because I have Foe Tracer equipped, I knew that he was going to jump up in the air, so I was able to shoot at him as he was coming around that corner, and I actually had the drop on him because I had Foe Tracer. I think this is a staple for any hunters who want to be running in the Crucible. The Foe Tracer is my favorite piece of exotic armor for the hunter, especially when running in PvP. It definitely can give you the edge in those gun battles. So overall, we're winding down now. We're getting into the last round where my team is up five rounds to nothing. And again, we did very well as a team. We were able, this was actually our first win of the day, so we were able to get that monkey off our back and we were able to beat this opposing team and set ourselves on that winning path. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more Destiny 2 content. Well, until next time, peace.